Hey guys, this is Arm Production ZKA and a 4673 and welcome to P Toribi Prelude. First of all, there's gonna be a whole fucking lot of things wrong with this uh, video. Just saying, uh, first of all, I'm sitting in front of a window, which is a bad idea when you film videos because you are not supposed to sit in front of the vi vid camera, a window. <laughs> Because then you can't see me, but that's a good thing, because I wanted a webcam video, but I didn't want um, you to see my face that much, because I look like shit. Um, and I didn't want to move, because I have a cat on my lap, and I'm pretty sure that if he, uh, if I move, he's going to give me the evilest look. Let, let's see if you can, can you see him? Yeah, there he is. So can you look over here? Look over here. Boom. Yeah, he doesn't want to. There, over there. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna move the computer then. Fuck it, it's a little computer. Alright, Seth. See? Say hi to the camera. Hello, camera. Hello. He doesn't give a fuck. Um, as I was trying to say, this is complete, utter bullshit quality. I'm sorry. Uh, both sound and camera and everything. The only thing, and uh, there's also echo in this room, but as I said before, I don't feel like moving. So now we're just gonna play this game I found on the internet. The reason why we're playing this is because I don't have my other computer and it's kinda shit for the time being and I don't wanna use it. So let's just play this game. It looked... the, the, the title screen looks good. It's, it's made by an amateur, I think, but um... You never know well how good it is. I learned that from the memories game. Start. Start! And it made a little happy sound. Right, Seth? <clears throat> the stories. Um, which day's voice should we take? Should we take the good old children? Let's just take our normal voice for the main character. My story starts on a day that. On a day that changed my life some time near the end of March. I remember it was the last day of middle school, a sunny Friday afternoon. Right, that was not the art style I was waiting. Wait, um, this is, n this is not the main title, that, that was a bit misleading. You know what? I've come too far, I'm not gonna stop now. Let's just go. Hum has pretty much stopped talking to me. I don't know what I did, it was kind of an eventual thing. Over the last two weeks or so, he's been talking to me less and less, and now conversation between us is pretty much zero. It's starting to make me feel terrible. Ham is pre pretty much my only friend as much as it makes me sound like a loser. I mean, sure I have a couple of other people that I hang out with occasionally, but I'm not sure I can call them friends. Not like how I call Ham my friend. Ham is the only person I, can I feel I can be myself with. I'm usually a very shy person, but his happy and outgoing personality brings out better things in me the better side of me. Nothing that is nothing like that is going on now though. For the past few days, Ham has been any anything but happy. I guess that's uh, made my better side get locked away too. So uh, any plans for after school today? I've been the one who's uh, who's had started who had started to start I can't talk to start conversations uh, between us recently, which is a really weird thing for me, uh, as Ham is usually the one who's talkative and starting our chats. I obviously... I gotta, gotta get up. There you go. Uh, uh, I obviously ha ha haven't been filling my new role. I just have to get into it, then I'll be there. Um, uh, well, 
What are you doing, Steph? I'm sorry. As Han just shrugs and looks away. Not much, really. Not much. It's the last day of middle school. Surely you have some plans. I'm pretty hurt that Han hasn't tried to arrange anything with me. You know, seeing as we've been friends for, an for our entire lives, uh, but I decided to keep this one to myself, given his general mood lately. No, no plans. Really? You're just going home and... You're just going to go home and do nothing even though you're never going to see most of our classmates ever again? I guess so. He's been so dismissive. It's all unlike him, it's frustrating. But I really don't know what to say to him when he's like this, so I just carry on with small talk to avoid an awkward silence. You want to know what I'm doing after school? Um, okay. Nothing! I'm doing nothing, just like you. So maybe, I don't know, we could do something together? I'm fully expecting for him to shoot me down, say he'd rather not, but to my surprise... Sh sure. He accepts. Um, what? I'm taken slightly off guard. I said, sure, let's do something. You and me. And for about the first time, uh... In about two weeks, he smiles again. I don't know what it uh, was that made him smile, but it was short-lived as we walked aimlessly away from the school. That distant expression was back. It doesn't really dawn on me that we walk that we're walking away from school for the last time. I'm just trying to figure out what it uh, was that made him smile, and I don't know. Maybe make it happen again. So. What do you want to do? He doesn't seem to register that I've said some, something... Uh, what I've said until a moment and then... Until after a moment and then gives me a strange sort of stare. And I guess we could go to the park or something. On the reserved answer. He talks to me as if he's not... All here, as if some part of him is complete, in a completely different world. The world is not letting me into it at all. We walk into the park in silence for a while, uh, in silence for a while, and it becomes clear that I have to start m making small talk again. Doing anything nice in the holidays, then? No. N no, I mean, nothing great, really. Something's definitely up here, that look on his face just then. Mm, what do you mean, no? You're not doing anything good? Nothing really spe that special, no. This time I press him further. Usually I'd leave the conversation at that, but that look on his face. Something is wrong, and I need to find out this time for sure. He smiled at me just a few minutes ago, and to go from that to this? Something's up. I need to find out what's been bothering him. Hum. <laughs> but we'll be going to high school after the holidays. You're not uh, going to do anything with... People you might never see again? Guess not. I wasn't really that great friends with most of them. What about me? I'm flinches. Well, yeah, I guess I'm friends with you, but... Well, then let's do stuff together in the holidays. Isn't going to the park now enough for, uh, to think about for the moment? Sure, I mean, it's good to plan ahead. Sure. Speaking of planning ahead, have you got any plans for high school? Would you just shut up already? He shouts at me, and a cold feeling rushes down my spine. I guess this is the result I wanted, but it isn't entirely how I imagined it would go. Jeez, it seems like you've done nothing but bother me recently. Bothering him? I guess maybe I was pushing him quite a lot then, but what's up with it recently? I grip my teeth and try not to say anything. No. I said I'd find out what's wrong. I have to answer back him back. What do you mean I've been bothering you? Fuck! No, I'm not ready for that. Fuck! Alright, can I reach the... <laughs> it's okay, Seb. I'm doing fine. Ah! Sorry, it's me. It's just me, Seb. Nothing to be scared of. Alright, now I have to charge it. I just need to put it in the charging thing. How the fuck do I do that? Seth, how do I do that? Um... Oh, fuck!
fuck I'm a genius! <laughs> How to do stuff without fucking moving. Yes. Alright, uh, we got the charge in now. Everything is wonderful. Uh, sorry. <laughs> we talk all the time. We've been friends since birth, hum. How have I been any different in the last few weeks than how I usually am? The common seems to take Hum by surprise, but he carries on shouting at me nevertheless. You just, just won't leave me alone. Keep, leave alone. Keep making pointless small talk with me all the time instead of leaving me be. And why do you think that is? You haven't exactly been yourself either. The Hum I know would have cheerfully replied to any sort of talk, talk at all, small or not. Isn't it clear I want to be left alone? I feel my fist clenching, clenching by my sides. Why is he being like this? Why? You have no reason to. Why do you want to be left all alone all, all of a sudden? I, I just... And just like that, his anger is gone. That melancholy look on his face that I saw briefly back then. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shout at you. I'm seriously worried. It's not normal for someone's mood to swing back and forth so much. He snapped at me just moments ago and now he looks like he's about to cry. Oh, I'd have really been a horrible person recently, I'm sorry. The walk to the park abandoned, Hum and I just stand in the street, me staring straight at him uh, and him looking down at his feet. There's silence for a few moments and Hum sp starts to speak again. Look, I'll be honest with you, Maria. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. Oh god. My mind just thinks of countless terrible things. Oh god. I'll admit I meant to tell you earlier, but I wasn't able to. I think I think, okay, I tell her today, today's the day, and then you'd come to try and cheer me up and I just wouldn't be able to get the words out. There's another silence. This one longer than they last. Stop it, stomach! Hum looks me in the eye and takes a deep breath. Oh dear God, what is he going to say? You know my secret, right? I'm taking off guard again. Your secret? Yeah, remember when we were a lot younger? We were playing in the garden at your house, and we started talking about secrets. I told you mine. That happened years ago. I don't think that much hap I don't think that much longer after we both started going to elementary school. I'm surprised he still remembers. Yeah, I do. You told me... what was it? You told me you hated the city. That was your secret. You told me how much you preferred the countryside. That's the one. But that's not much of the secret, but I do... I do remember him saying that being quite... and being quite passionate about it as well, even for an elementary school boy. Well, turns out that's not too much of a secret anymore. I told my parents. I told them how much I hate life here. It's just not for me. The concrete, the skyscrapers, the traffic, the smoke, all of the people. I was born in the wrong place, Maria. I'm meant for a country life. Through most of the middle school, I could tolerate living here, but now that high school's coming up, I can't bear thinking about a high school here. Whereas, when there's the option of a high school, I'm in the countryside instead. You know? A boarding school. Those two words are like a slap in the face. Boarding school. No. So I talked it through with my parents and originally they were against it. But they soon realized how much it meant for me. How much it meant for me to get out of here. So we did some research, got some forms, filled in some lab applications and I found a place. Maria. That's when Ham told me that in one week's time he would be moving away to the countryside. My best friend. My childhood friend. Gone in seven days. Seven days. Right! That was all I can do for now. Uh, I'll see you in the next part. I think I'll make more even though this is not like... I'll be a fair judge. I'll see you in the next part. Um, now you can say good Goodbye to Seth. Goodbye, Seth. Say goodbye. Okay, you can go down again.